If you are considering a move to Fairfield, California, I am sure that you've come across the beautiful new development called One Lake. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through everything you need to know about this community, including all the amenities it has to offer, different home styles, price points, as well as the fees and costs associated with living at One Lake. Let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Erica Monroe, I'm a realtor in the Bay Area and I specialize in Solano County. Welcome to One Lake, a beautiful master plan community located on a 21 acre park, complete with shimmering lake, perfect for kayaking or paddleboarding. This new construction development is truly one of a kind for its vast and endless amenities, as well as its emphasis on community feel. From the Grove, which is a community garden, to the Glass House Coffee Shop, which offers high-tech, high-speed internet, perfect for remote workers. There is a dog park. There are walking and hiking trails. There will be an on-demand fitness center, a swimming pool, a lounge area, a clubhouse, X spaces, barbecue areas, fire pits, the list goes on and on. There will be continued amenities being built throughout the development of One Lake. There are currently six different neighborhoods within One Lake, and today we'll focus on three of the builders that own and have developed a majority of the neighborhoods. This should give you a really great feel for the home styles and price points currently available. TriPoint Homes is the largest developer currently at One Lake, and they've developed three of the six neighborhoods, including Splash, Shimmer, and Glisten, which is still coming soon. Splash is TriPoint's most cost-effective community, offering single-family homes ranging from 2,300 square feet up to about 2,800 square feet. These houses feature three to four bedrooms, three to four bathrooms. Some have options for a loft or an expansive junior suite downstairs, perfect for multi-generational families or a very private guest suite. The lowest price home currently available in the Splash neighborhood is priced at $700,000 and features three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, about 2,400 square feet of living space on a modest 4,300 square foot lot. Now that's something to mention for all developers in One Lake. All of their lot sizes are gonna be quite quaint or modest, but with the amenities available at your fingertips, most folks find that they don't need an expansive backyard because everything's readily available within walking distance. Shimmer is TriPoint's more elevated neighborhood featuring three different layouts, starting at 2,600 square feet, ranging up to 3,000 square feet. You'll find that price points start in the mid 700,000s. Shimmer has options for more elevated exterior and interior finishes, and that's reflected in the price points. However, I do see that there is one plan one available at 695,000. That's an incredible price point in this beautiful neighborhood. This probably means that the builder is pretty far along in the build or it may already be completed. So if you're okay with the builder having already selected all the finishes, this may be a really great opportunity for you. Now keep in mind, as of July 2020, all new construction homes are required to have solar, whether they're leased, which could be an additional monthly payment, or if it's purchased outright. Sometimes it's built into the base price. So make sure you have your agent investigate this. This is a good time to remind you that if you are hoping to have representation by a real estate agent, make sure they accompany you on the first visit. Otherwise, you cannot have them represent you later on down the road. As helpful and wonderful as the office folks are, they represent the builder. They work for the seller, not the buyer. So it's important to keep that in mind if considering any new construction development. Moving on to our next builder, which is Brookfield Residential, and they have two different neighborhoods, Horizon and Lakeside. Both neighborhoods feature attached homes. Lakeside has condos and Horizon has duet style attached single family homes. Lakeside ranges from 1,400 square feet up to 2,300 square feet, featuring a wide open concept layout, two to three bedrooms, two to three bathrooms. The upstairs condo units have a large patio with elevated views of the lake, while the downstairs condo units enjoy a small backyard also with views of the lake. Now these homes do come at a premium for a condo, 
Because of their location, they have a lot premium of about 75,000. So you'll find that most of these homes will sell in the low 700,000. Horizon, which are also attached single family homes, offer slightly larger floor layouts, ranging from 2,000 square feet up to 2,300 square feet with three to four bedrooms. The Horizon neighborhood does not have the same lot premium because they don't back to the lake. So if you're okay with not having a direct view of the lake, just being steps away from lake access, then this is probably the best entry level price point at One Lake. Last but certainly not least is the builder DeNova Homes, which offers the neighborhood 156. These homes run parallel to the lake, so a majority of the houses have lake views or back directly to the lake. There are three different residences, all featuring four bedrooms, ranging from 2,100 square feet up to 2,600 square feet. These homes are arranged in more of a cluster style, so resident one folks will have more of a side yard than they do a backyard. Resident two and three will back directly to the lake. DeNova homes offer a more modern architectural style on the exterior. The interior features vast open concept layouts, some with tall vaulted 16 to 18 foot ceilings with lots of natural light pouring through, and there's even an option to add a wine room downstairs. The lowest price house currently available at 156 is priced at 700,000. This is typically a layout that's priced right around 740,000, which again means that the builders likely completed build or is near completion and they've selected all of their finishes. The most expensive house at 156 is currently listed at 825,000 and features four bedrooms, three bathrooms, and over 2,500 square feet of living space. Here are some cliff notes for additional information you need to know about the community and surrounding areas. One Lake is conveniently located right in between San Francisco and Sacramento. There's easy access to I-80 and the community is directly across from the Capitol Corridor Amtrak station. One Lake is also located in the Travis Unified School District, according to greatschools.org. All or a majority of these schools are ranking above the national average. As far as shopping and amenities, you have access to everything that Vacaville and Fairfield have to offer. You have Costco, Sprouts, Trader Joe's, Raley's, all within about a 15 minute drive. Let's dive into the additional costs and fees of One Lake. Number one, you do have an HOA, and right now it's hovering right around $150 a month. Now this HOA actually covers quite a bit. There's front yard landscaping, as well as maintenance of all the community amenities. Now I have heard by some developers that they anticipate the HOA fee to drop once more folks have moved into the community, but most HOAs have a tendency to increase over time. It's really important to check those HOA documents and bylaws to ensure that they don't have the opportunity to increase the HOA significantly each year. Number two is a higher tax rate. One Lake's tax rate is currently 1.6%. And to put that into context, most resale homes will hover around 1.25%. All new construction developers have to pass on the cost of developing the community so your tax liability will increase through special assessment taxes or Melorue's taxes. Just important to know that that will increase your monthly payment and you just wanna make sure that the surroundings are worth it to you. Now you have a thorough understanding of all that One Lake has to offer. Make sure you check out my video, pros and cons of buying new construction homes, as well as what upgrades to include and exclude through the builder. Thanks so much for watching. Please feel free to reach out with any questions about One Lake.